So in this video for DaVinci Resolve, specifically the Fusion page, I'm going to show you how you could set up relative text positioning with two different text plus nodes so that when you type in one, it doesn't interfere or overlap the other. And I'm going to show you two different methods. So this first method, just have your two text nodes together. You can see that on the right here. But basically, you'll be able to type in them and they won't overlap. And the other one's a little more advanced. And with this one, when you add text to it, it will actually move the other text to get it out of the way. And you'll also be able to do this with images. So that is what I'll be showing you in this video. Okay, I'm going to start from scratch here. So I'm just on my edit page here and I add an adjustment clip. And that's where I'm going to put the text plus nodes, but you could just add a title if you want. Any way you want to add the text plus nodes. But I'll switch over here to Fusion. Now I'm going to do the simpler example first. So I'm going to add two text plus nodes. And I'm going to connect them with a merge by taking the output of one, connecting it to the output of the other. That creates a merge. Then I'll set up each text node. So I'll click on it, hit one on my keyboard to put it in the first viewer. And I'll add my text here. Now one of the keys to this way of doing it is for the text that's on the left. You want to take come down here to H anchor and you want to make that right. You're going to add the second text. So I'm going to put that second viewer by hitting two. Put that in second viewer by hitting two on the keyboard and then type its text. And now I'm going to horizontal anchor it left. So now I'm going to view the merge in the second window here. And you can see the two texts are right up against each other. Now you could leave it like that if you want. You could separate them right now. I'll just leave them like that. So now when I start adding text to the first text plus node here, I'm just going to hit a bunch of A's. You'll see that it moves to the left and adds the text that way so it doesn't overlap the other text node. I'll back that up. And if I add text to the second one, you'll see that it goes off to the right. So they don't, inter don't interfere with each other. So you could adjust their positioning. Say I could come into the... If I want to change their position a little bit and so they're not right next to each other, I come over to layout and then just change their X position here. So I'll move that a little bit to the right. Take the one on the left to lay out, move it a little bit to the left, separate them. But now when I add text, it'll still act the same way. It'll go from the center and move out. Now this is quick and easy. Uh, it works pretty well if you're going to have your text centered or towards the center. But if you wanted to move it to the left or have it say as a uh, lower third or something, then having the text go off to the side might cause an issue. So that's why there's this second way of doing it. So I'll demonstrate that now. So again, Let's get rid of these texts. I'll add two text nodes. Again, merge them. That sometimes happens, so you just got to be a little more precise. Connect to the output, so you have your merge. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to add text from my first one. And put the text in the second viewer for the second one. Put its text in. Whoops, misspelled it. So the one thing is different here. You're still messing, gonna mess with the horizontal anchor. We just can make them both left for this. So you can either hit this icon here under each anchor, or you can move this slider over to the left. Do that for both of them. Now, if you view the merge, you see they're right on top of each other, but now we're going to add basically some code into, you could do this either on the text to layout center. You add basically right click and go to expression and add this expression and that would utilize this trick, but it's also better to do merge because you also could do it with anything you connect to the foreground in this merge. So you could have different text plus nodes. You could have, uh, a background with like shapes, you could have images, and I'll do the same uh, basic process here. So we're going to add it to the merge node here. We're going to go to center, right click on it, go to expression, delete what's there, and we're going to add our own point expression here. I have it here. Now this top one here is if you want to do and have it relative both uh, in the X and Y axis, but in this version, it's just going to be the x-axis, so we just made the second point, which is the y, 0.5. And basically what this expression does 
is it takes the width of your screen of your, your basically your footage. So mine's 26, 25, 60 by 1440. So it takes that and divides it by the position of the, basically there's a box around your text, like it's called a data window. And this will give the rightmost exposition of that, divides it by the original, and that gives you your center X coordinate, which then positions the second text element or whichever element you have connected to your foreground of your merge. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that in here and you'll see what I mean in a second. So I'm gonna copy this. Paste it into here. Hit enter, and now you can see the text is moved over. Now, as soon as so, basically, what this will do is anything I add to the the first node here, it'll move over the second text from the second node. So here, I'm going to add some A's, and you can see it moves over. And in this example, it's it's centered, so it's going to be pushing off to the side. So one thing this is nice for is if you're doing something like a, again like a lower third, or if you want this to be just left left of the screen. So I could take the text, of the first one, go to layout, and just take its X position here and just move it all the way over to the left side. Now, if I go back to the text and add text, it'll move the other one over. And if I add anything to the second text plus node here, just work like you expect, just goes off to the right side, doesn't change its position. This is nice if you want to keep one text plus relative to the other one. And the nice thing about this technique, especially using that uh, expression on the merge node instead of on the second text node, is now you could add images and I'll do the same thing. So I'll demonstrate that here. Move this down a little bit, myself some room. So I'm going to add an image. So I have this in my media pool, this image. And so that I can move it around and position it and resize it. I'm going to add a transform node, which I have right here. Move that down. I'll put that into the left viewer by hitting one on my keyboard. So you see it's quite a bit bigger. So I'm going to shrink that down by changing its size. So it's a little closer in size to the original, to the text. So now all I have to do, move this over a little bit, is instead of where the text plus is here, the second text plus, I could take the output of the transform. Right now I'm right clicking and dragging it over to the merge and letting go. That gives me the option of where I want to connect it to and I want to connect it to the foreground. And now you can see the image is there. Now, because the text is slightly different in the way it's centered and the way it's positioned than the image, you have to come into the transform and then you can just move it wherever you want. So I'm just gonna move it to the right here. And now it'll work just like with the two text plus nodes. If I add text here, the image will move along with it and stay. So again, that's very nice for like lower thirds and other kind of titles. And you can do this with any shapes you create, anything you basically connect to the foreground of this merge. Now, if you want to continue on, you could still add other either text plus nodes or images and have them move relative to the first one here or to the second one. But you just have to change the way you do it a little bit. You can have it added, the expression added on the merge. So here I have it, the merge back to normal. And I've added the expression under layout, center, I right clicked on it and, and added an expression. And I changed the expression to text one for this one. So I left so I left it text one for this one. Just put it on the text instead, and that still works the same. Now if you want to add the third ear text plus or the image in this example, come to the merge two, and then add it that expression to the merge like you had originally in the first one. Now you have the first one added to text two. Now this other one you have it added to the merge and you basically change it every place where it said text one, you change it to text two. So you have different, two different spots here. Change that to text two. And if I go forward here, see the other spot where I changed it to text two. Right there, text two. So now if I put this second one here in the viewer, now if I add text to the first node here, see they both move over and if I add text to the second text node here text plus node see the image moves and you can go on chaining these just changing it as I explained there that makes it very uh, easy to have the different 
elements relative to each other without going over and crossing over. So that's several different techniques that allow you to keep your text relative to each other or any other assets like an image. Should a very easy one to begin with, and then one where the text will actually move relative to the first text, and also you can use images. So hopefully you find this useful in the future, and I thank you for watching.